got this just ready to go it's a coming refresh the page to check stream quality there it is okay well, there's always like 30 seconds of me trying to make sure that I'm doing everything right because I don't want to, the last thing I want to do is do a whole thing and find out that it wasn't doing it properly. Um, I should be able to hear this. Alright, yeah. I can hear things. It just wasn't anything going on at the time. Um, so, we're going to play probably the first game that I wouldn't consider like a huge staple of the of the 64 and that's not to say that it's not uh, a fantastic game but um, all the games that I played before this Mario Mario Pilot Wings um, cruising Wayne Gretzky even Wayne Gretzky to me is a staple and Star Wars, etc., stuff like that. Um, Killer Instinct. Um, I consider those all to be pretty big deals, but this one, not, not necessarily. But I still really like this game. Honestly, it's a really good one. Um, first things first. Uh, unfortunately, I can't be Shaq in this game. I can't be Shaq, Michael Jordan, or Charles Barkley. They were all you know, under licenses from other places. But uh, that leaves me open to try my typical go-tos, which are Stockton and Malone, Utah Jazz. And Stockton and Malone on the Utah Jazz, not only are they some of the only people that I actually know from this era of basketball, because out of all the sports I, and you know, that are popular in the United States, the one I probably don't know is basketball. The one after that would be soccer, which is going to be hella fun when we get to a soccer game like ISS. Um, but at least when you're playing NBA hang time, um, it's basically NBA Jam. And it's a really good successor to NBA Jam. I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but I feel like people, without the name, it kind of loses its luster for people. But, I mean, it's, you know, it's the next one. It's the sequel. Nice. Go, Carl. Go, Carl. Yeah. Um, it's still fast-paced, as you can tell. I'll admit the players, the way that the players are, are done looks kind of weird. But, um, you know, NBA Jam probably would have looked like this if they had the processing power before that. For better or for worse. Um, I almost goaltended there, which is like the one thing you can't do in this game is you can't, you know, goaltending, obviously. If you remember that from NBA Jam. Basically, anything that applies to NBA Jam kind of applies here. Um, so if you're watching this and not actually sure what NBA hang time is, it is, you know, it is NBA Jam. Just the next version of it. It's on... It's amazing because it's on every system of the time, uh, looking almost exactly the same. Um, because one one thing that people really complained about a lot when this game came out was that it doesn't feel like um, it doesn't feel like an N64 game. It doesn't feel like it's taking advantage of the systems, the next gen systems that it's on. It's kind of cheap, and I'm like, uh, at that point, it was a pretty valid concern. I'm sure. I say that about things uh, on the PS4, like, I usually say it in the positive way, like, this feels like a next-gen game, so on and so forth, but, um, if you're playing a game that looks almost exactly the same on the Super Nintendo and the Genesis as it does on the N64, maybe you have a valid uh, concern that it's not doing all it can to be, a, you know, worth buying, worth buying a, this, you know, on one, one console or the other. It was probably cheaper on one console than, you know, the older consoles. Um, as a matter of fact, I picked uh, Stockton and Malone. They are 
pretty much the, the awesome one-two punch that you can get in NBA Jam or NBA Hang Time. Because Stockton's really great with stealing and really quick. And Carl Malone is the big typical basketball player guy. Um, Stockton can shoot from the outside and Malone can get power drive into the net. And realistically in NBA Jam or NBA Hang Time, I'm going to say that basically interchangeably. I mean, these are the guys that you need. This is, I've, for the most part, never played NBA Jam in recent years without typically going for these guys. And I'm always Stockton because I like to steal the ball. Stealing is, is super satisfying. And I can never block properly. Blocks and rebounds, I, I time very poorly. But uh, steals and threes are I got really good at, and or good at when I played this game for a long time. And I, they're usually just more fun because everything you want to do in NBA Jam is, you know, the more show-offy stuff. Everything but dunks is is what Stockton can do, and fucking. Uh, um, the one thing that's really frustrating when you when you play NBA Hang Time on the 60. Fuck! I thought I was gonna get that off. Uh, one thing that's really frustrating when you get in, play NBA Hang Time on the 64 is uh, the controls. Um, I said when I played Killer Instinct how the controls are actually really good for fighting games and stuff like that from the arcades because of the way that the buttons are lined up. But for NBA hang time, the buttons really need to be easy to press one or the other from the turbo button. So you automatically, you do have to uh, rearrange the buttons from, this is like A is turbo when you start up the game and then it's like uh, shoot and pass. Um, there's no perfect way to get it redone, but the best way, the way that I'm doing is turbo is this one, the down C, uh, shoot is A, and right C is pass. So you can kind of work either one of them from that setup, um, but it's never perfect. I think that's one thing that I've always kind of not been happy with. Almost lost my pairing. Um, it's kind of like if you, you play with like any controller, you play on an NES or a Super Nintendo where you can't hold the hold the run button while you can reach the the jump button. It's like it needs to be easy to just mash your hand all over the controller because you know how to mash it and you know how to work it. Like, isn't it weird having them all close together? It's really not, because you, you know you've learned how to sort of work the controller that way. The Genesis actually, to me, had the way better um, sort of style like that because of the way the buttons were lined up, uh, but always easy to press together. I always try to put uh, turbo on the R shoulder button, um, for NBA Jam on the Super Nintendo, um, but for whatever reason, actually mashing it, like, uh, excuse me, working both buttons actually sometimes feels better for this game. Dunk it. I missed so many shots while I was giving that little spiel about the buttons, but now we're back in it. This game, I've said it in so many videos to this point because we're at the era of N64 games where a lot of it is arcade and a lot of it is the old-fashioned style of games. This game, because it's the successor to NBA Jam and actually cranks it up even harder, this is the king of rubber banding. And it's funny because the next game after this is I'm playing Mario Kart 64 and I'm going to have to bring up the rubber banding thing again as I did with Wayne Gretzky which is an arcade game, and Cruising USA, which is an arcade game. But rubber banding is a real thing, especially in this game. Um, you cannot win a game by 
more than like 10 points in this game if you manage to get that far ahead. It just doesn't happen. Um, I don't even think it's that bad in NBA Jam, but it is pretty bad in this game. Um, it's a big balance of um, just being in the right right distance of a lead or just being in the lead at all so I'm down by A right now but the thing is it's gonna start letting me sink my shots more or at least letting you know my team sink more shots I can't believe that was goaltending. If Malone would get a fucking rebound, for God's sake. And Stockton with the layoff. So, I mean, you just saw how much time they spent in the, in the offensive zone. That's what it is in basketball, right? That's what it's called, the offensive zone. I'm, I'm using hockey terms. There you go. Um, they spent so much time on offense right there, and they still did not get a, a, a bucket out of it, basically. Because the game was like, come on, just grab, just grab the goddamn rebound. Just do it. Like, Of course I wasn't, because I'm fucking stocked in and trying to make tall-ass computer control car Malone do it. Oh my god, you're fucking kidding me. Hey! Oh, I think it was over the line. Doesn't matter because it didn't make it. It's kind of embarrassing. Don't get it! Or, or, or lay it up. Or miss. You gotta, you gotta like shoot it, dude. Stop fucking dancing. Come on. What are you doing? We lost because we just fucking danced around in the paint with the ball for the last 15 20 seconds uh, Jesus Christ oh this is when I'm gonna embarrass myself I don't know very much if anything about basketball so I'm gonna get most of these questions wrong Was Magic Johnson still playing? It's A or D, right? Wrong. Is it? Is it gonna tell me? It's not gonna tell me. Um, we've gotten to the issue of this game not having any real sort of ending, except for the all 29 teams, much like the Wayne Gretzky thing. So. More or less, that's going to be how I approach this. I'm obviously not going to play all 29 teams uh, on a stream. That's going to get old. But I will make a fair amount of content out of this, hopefully. But, but let's let's try that again. Stop. I think this is, I think the reason I wanted to do this so bad was because I wanted to really get started on something that was, um, I could get away with not doing. I just picked, uh, I'm actually Malone for this one, but I, I don't even really care. Um, I never figured out how to do the jump ball in this game. Someone's, it seems like it's just based on button mashing, but I really have no idea. Yep, wrong button. I do that all the time, uh, especially right at the beginning of NBA Jam games, NBA Hang Time games, so on and so forth. Jesus. Oh, I gotta switch this at halftime. I don't know what I'm doing. He's too big. Oh my God! Are you kidding me? Just grab the fucking ball. It's right there. It's in the middle of the air right there. D oh my fucking god. 10. Oh, 11. Wow, this sucks. Stop. 
Thank you. God. Just beat these motherfuckers down. Let, oh my god. Shoot it! Wow. Stop! Wow, I'm getting fucking embarrassed right now. What? Terrible shot that went in. Oh yeah, there's no, uh, there's no, like, Marv Albert. I think it's Marv Albert in NBA Jam, right? Uh, there's none of that. There's no, not much commentary. You're not really missing much. Um, it's just some high voice dude. Not as satisfying. There's no boom shakalakas or anything like that. Maybe that's why people don't like this game. There's no boom shakalaka. There's no, he's heating up. At least not the iconic style. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here with that. I'm losing so bad right now. It's ridiculous. Get it. Pretty glad actually to have started on this because uh, I finished, I basically finished all the games that I was playing or I got what I needed to get out of all the games that I was playing basically for the last week because I was playing uh, at the same time I was trying to do Shadows of the Empire. Uh, I was trying to finish the first Ratchet and Clank which took me fucking 90 minutes to beat the last level of that just now. But I did that. I never beat any Ratchet and Clank games before. And uh, I did my review of Retro City Rampage, which uh, I didn't finish all the way through because I ordered the second print run of it that's coming out for PS4, so I will do that at another time. I played like three quarters of it, I think. Um, that game's really good, you should check out my review of that on the blog, which is probably a link, which wherever you're watching this is probably a link. Get in. Um, so now I can start NBA hang time on Twitch, YouTube thing, and I've got a pretty free reign to start the next whatever items in my backlog I'm doing. Which is the worst thing that can happen to me because I don't know what I'm going to play. I tried to say pick and play at the same time, and I don't know what I was going to say. I don't know what to pick. I don't know what to play. I know to do this. I could probably spend a lot of time playing this. Getting my ass kicked. By the Grizzlies. Good God. Stop. Really? Give me a fucking break. This is ridiculous. It's fun. Start just raining threes on these people. Do what we gotta do to take this game back. It's really embarrassing when you're actually losing by like 20 points in a game that's supposed to become easier if you're losing. Uh, you can tell I never got beaten down this bad, I don't think, in Wayne Gretzky because I actually like hockey and know what I'm doing, I think. But basketball is, I mean, this isn't even necessarily basketball because it's NBA hang time. It's just two on two and pushing people around and shit. There you go. We can do it. Or not, maybe. I don't know. I didn't even think that was a three. Get it! Come on! 
There you go. That's down the court. Get some. Alley oop. There you go. I'm getting some. See, we got close. Now it's going to take some back. Alley oop. What? Really? Yeah. Shoot him. He's heating up. What? He's on fire. Still the most satisfying thing to get that, honestly. Now we're within one. I've, I don't think I've ever really... I've never switched up both players on my team. If I know there's at least like one guy who's on the bench who's decent, sometimes I switch. For the most part, I never do. It's, it seems pointless. Um, I keep wanting to say that this is the going to be the most fun I'm going to have playing basketball on this system, but the other game like this is NBA Showtime which is actually even better. Plays like a 64 game. Still is an arcade game. But, I mean, that's... Showtime is the, the actual real natural progression of what the series should have been. Um, and it is fantastic on any system. I highly recommend it. And I'm really excited to get to that in like three years of 64 games. Coming down the pipe. But, like, I need to be careful to not say, like, this is the best uh, basketball game, or my favorite basketball game on 64. It's going to be um, Showtime. <laughs> Get some... Still probably going to lose. One minute to go. Get some. Taking some back. God damn it. Alright, come on. Let's get a turnover. Yes! There we go. Fuck you. God damn it. Ah, oh, fuck you. Oh, OT. Oh my god. This game actually will get really intense if you go if you, you know, go to overtime or something like that. It's it's pretty I don't want to say lackadaisical for the most part during the regular game, like a basketball game. But uh once you get into the the fact that it will be really close and then you go to overtime then it's it actually you know you start to get really upset over every basket like i'm anytime you're not winning in the ot period is is just freaking you out this is pretty like makes sense pretty obvious but the fact that for the most part i was kind of like chill about it I feel the need to say it like okay no you know what this is actually a big fucking deal I'm gonna I'm in overtime and I want to win I can lose in regulation just fine bring me an overtime contest and what I want get the fuck out of here with this this is gonna be so fucking frustrating Swish. Nope. Get the f Is it three? Nope. That was just two. 
Get some. Dunk. Yeah, there we go. I haven't led yet. That's what frustrates you. Fuck you. You sink this three. Boom. There we go. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm gonna lose. I'll probably lose. Fuck you. Getting too into this. I. <sighs> no. Wish. Don't, don't you do it? Don't do it. Oh God. See, double OT. This is, this is intense, right? This is intense. God damn it. This is, you know what? I just figured out what I'm gonna do for the rest of the night. Not necessarily on Twitch. I'm just gonna keep playing this. Fuck you. There we go. Nothing. I do play defense. Hey! Finally leading. I thought he was going to go for an alley -oop. Here's a question. Does... People who play uh, NBA Jam or NBA Hang Time or any of these games like this, um, do you find it easier to play the game with a computer partner or with a real partner? The computer partner is supposed to do exactly what you tell them to, or mostly what they what you tell them to do when you tell them to do it. But a real player is just more in tune with the game maybe not more in tune with you but more in tune with the game itself it's really i mean i'm just i'm genuinely curious what people think you wouldn't probably not uh go into like an arcade tournament of it with the ai partner on your side i feel like that's just not how you do things but for the most part do people probably prefer head to head against another person or taking on for for the fact of like winning I feel like uh, a real player might be more uh, able to comprehend like fuck this Well, I lost. Fuck this. I feel like a real player might be able to comprehend the fact that you gotta push, push people and hit people all the time, and when you should be doing three pointers and such. But yeah, whatever. I took thirty-two three pointers. That might not be the best idea. Um. Yeah. So this is my first, first uh, NBA hang time video. Probably gonna be two or two or three more. I feel like, oh, time to be embarrassed by trivia. Uh, he's good. He's good on defense. Yep, incorrect. They don't tell me who it was, so I'm not gonna get better at knowing basketball things. But I'm only two right now. Lost twice to Vancouver. Whatever. Um. Catch this next time. I feel like. Sucking at basketball on Twitch. Alright.